Hello, today we are going to read Little Red Riding Hood. Let's start. Once upon a time, in a village near the woods, lived a little girl that everyone called Little Red Riding Hood, as she always wore a red cape with a hood, a gift from her grandma. One day, her mother baked some buns and said to Little Red Riding Hood, Please, take these buns to Grandma who is unwell. But remember, don't stop, go straight there. Stay on the path, please take care. I promise, replied the little girl. On her way to Grandma's house, Little Red Riding Hood came across a big wolf. Hello, darling. Where are you going all alone? Asked the wolf. I'm going to my granny. I'm going straight there. I'll stay on the path and take good care. She answered quickly. Are you sure that this is the quickest way to get to your grandma? Asked the wolf. Take this other path, and I assure you that you will arrive much sooner. He suggested. The little girl followed his advice, but didn't know that she had been tricked by that old rascal. In fact, the wolf rushed to Grandma's house before her. Without waiting a second, he rushed to Grandma's bedroom and gobbled up the poor lady, bonnet, glasses and all. Then, he put on one of Grandma's night dresses and one of her bonnets. He closed the curtains and slipped into her bed. When Lola Red Riding Hood finally arrived at Grandma's house, she found the door already open. It's me, Granny. I brought you buns for lunch and nice flowers in a bunch, sang the girl as she walked into the house. Then she went into Grandma's bedroom and saw the pretend grandma lying in bed, with the bed she pulled over her nose. Only two big hairy ears were poking up. Oh, Granny, what big ears you have! exclaimed Little Red Riding Hood in surprise. All the better to hear you with, my dear, answered the wolf in a sickly sweet voice. When the poor girl saw the wolf's big eyes, she said, What big eyes you have, Grandma? All the better to see you with, darling, answered the wolf, convincingly. Grandma, what big hands you have, said the Red Riding Hood, alarmed. All the better to hug you with, sweetie said the wolf softly. Trembling, the Red Riding Hood shrek, Grandma, what big mouth you have, as thick as an oven! All the better to eat you with, shouted the wolf, who couldn't restrain himself any longer. He leapt out of bed and gobbled up the girl. Then, satisfied, he sprawled out on Grana's bed and fell asleep. In the blink of an eye, the animal was snoring like a trombone. A hunter who happened to pass by heard that rocket and peeped into the bedroom through the open curtains. When he saw the wolf sprawled out on Grandma's bed, 
he thought. Oh, he must have eaten grandma. So he crept into the house, grabbed a pair of long and pointy scissors, sneaked into the bedroom, and zick zack, he cut open the wolf's tummy. Then he pulled Little Red Riding Hood and her grandma out of the wolf's tummy. After the hugs and tears of happiness, the hunter decided to teach the squalawag of a wolf a lesson he wouldn't forget, and he went out in search of the heavy stones he could find. Grandma and Little Red Riding Hood helped the hunter in filling the wolf's tummy with stones and sewing it back together. Then, they carried him outside and laid him down under a tree. When the wolf awoke and tried to get up, he staggered and fell over with a big thud. To celebrate, the grandmother, the granddaughter, and the hunter had a picnic with the buns. Little Red Riding Hood, who had learned her lessons, promised, From now on, without exceptions, I'll obey my mom's instructions. And from that day onwards, Little Red Riding Hood always followed her mother's advice. The End Little Red Riding Hood For more stories like this, please subscribe. Thank you for listening. Bye!